Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News in High Definition. On St. Patrick's Day, a couple of days away, and for many Americans, it's all about green beer and corned beef. But there is a healthier way to celebrate while still sticking to the Irish tradition. Food coach Lori Corbin met up with one healthy Irish chef who has a lighter take on the festive fare. Typically, the food you'll have is um, bacon and cabbage, Irish stew, beef and Guinness stew, a lot of heavy stew dishes. Chef Gavin Murphy's talking about foods typically served on St. Patrick's Day in Ireland, which he loves to make, only he swaps heavy fat often used in Irish cuisine with healthier ingredients. Everything that I grew up eating always was mounded in butter and cream, so I'm going to make it a little bit lighter than that right now. His stew, for instance, is made with a lean cut of grass-fed beef, braised in a bit of canola oil in lieu of butter, with a bit of dark stout and veggies, making it hearty yet healthy. His Irish soda bread with just a handful of ingredients can be made in about 20 minutes. Wholemeal flour, white flour, a little baking soda, and a pinch of salt. And a low-fat, not full-fat buttermilk to whack fat calories. A quick mix then baked in the oven to create this appetizer. For the soda bread, a little Irish smoked salmon, obviously perfect for St. Patrick's Day. A little lemon zest. Topping with Greek yogurt in lieu of creme fraiche and chopped chives. And no Irish meals complete without a potato dish like Colcannon. Which is a very traditional dish, which is mashed potatoes with either sautéed cabbage or kale. And while many think potatoes are a dietary no-no, know this. Potatoes actually contain something called resistant starch, which helps burn belly fat and makes you feel full. So the challenge with potatoes, what you put into them, and portion sizes. Murphy uses vegetable stock instead of butter or oil to flavor his spuds. And he colors them up with kale, which on the Andy Index, which rates nutrients of food from zero to a thousand, Kale gets a thousand out of a thousand points. It is the best vegetable. And to honor cabbage in his heritage, Murphy creates a smooth, creamy cabbage potato soup, although you'll be hard pressed to find that cabbage. Totally kid friendly. Lori Corbin, ABC 7 Eyewitness News.